Hey, this is Joe Hafner from Breakthrough Basketball. If you're stuck at home, you can still improve your basketball condition and get in great shape. You don't need to run, use a bike, or get in the gym. And you don't need any equipment whatsoever. You'll be surprised at how fast you can improve your condition and get into basketball shape in a small space just by simply using your living room or your basement. These exercises that you can do at home will improve your endurance so you can play hard the entire game and outperform your opponents. So let's get right to it. Division one trainer Cody Roberts will take you through the exercises for your at home workout. It all starts with a good warm up to get your muscles ready for an intense workout and get your heart rate up. With the warm-up for these exercises, we're going to basically allow a lot of freedom for the athlete. Taking about five to ten minutes to go on a, a light jog, get on a bike, okay, some stationary device like an elliptical to where you can kind of increase that core temperature is going to be important first. From there, okay, what I'll have Nolan do is basically just do about 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Okay, simple jumping jacks, getting the arms moving, okay, quick contacts on the ground. And really there's no rules with this. It can be overhead, it can be in front of the chest, or it can be across the body, okay? Whatever he wants to do or, you know, whatever helps get him moving. From there, we're gonna go into squatting, okay? Anything that involves mobilizing the hip. So we'll have Nolan squat down. He may just squat and hold for roughly 30 seconds. He might do reps. He might squat all the way to the bottom, use his elbows and push his knees out and shift side to side. Okay, anything that helps him loosen up his hips. From here, we're gonna get into kind of a rolling sit-up type action. So anything where he's flexing his torso, he's gonna sit up, maybe just do a traditional sit-up. He might roll and lift his hips. He might get a little hamstring stretch in there and reach to the toes. Again, there's no rules. He's just moving actively for 30 seconds. Our next exercise is gonna be our C-skip. Okay, no one's gonna bounce with some rhythm. Right knee comes up and out, up and out. Good, maintains posture, arms just get out of the way of the leg. He's trying to control out and up, up and up. Very good, C-skips in place. Our next exercise is our figure four crab bridge. We get a stretch at the bottom and then we engage that hip at the top. So his ankle goes across his knee, hips come up, head goes back and he does reps. Squeeze, contract, developing that mind-body connection with his glute. Good, excellent job, hits the other side. Notice he's gonna get a stretch in that hip at the bottom, and then he's gonna extend and engage his hip at the top. So this is our half side plank with leg abduction. This is a way to kind of tailor it back a little bit, make it a little bit easier. Set the athlete up to succeed. So he's in a straight line, elbows under shoulder. His bottom knee is bent, so he's elevated up, hips up, off that bottom knee, and then he's going through that leg abduction with his head forward, hips forward, body in a straight line focusing on using his hip and raising his heel. Now we're getting into anything that flexes the hip, okay? It could be a simple high knees running in place, okay? Or you could more isolate and focus on some type of specific leg swing. So no one's moving, being quick off the ground, using those arms, good. For our continuous push-up, the goal is just constant tension through the chest and triceps. He's just gonna go down, lightly touch the chest, and press up, down, and press up. He's never stopping, he's just continuously going up and down, keeping tension through that chest and shoulders the entire time. Hannah's gonna simply jump on one foot and rotate both clockwise and counterclockwise. Still same principles. The knee is actually gonna start to bend here a little bit as she absorbs and redirects but she's still staying stiff through the ankle and just interacting with the ground, moving in each direction, focusing on quality, but challenging her endurance a little bit as well. Great job, Hannah. Nice job, relax. Good, and then involve the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat jumps, great job. Okay, biggest things are just posture, range of motion, and foot pressure making sure that her hip is stable, make sure she has controls of her knee, her foot pressure is established throughout, and basically getting her ready to jump higher and be stronger.
Our next exercise is gonna be our C-skip, okay? No one's gonna bounce with some rhythm. Right knee comes up and out, up and out. Good, maintains posture. Arms just get out of the way of the leg. He's trying to control out and up, up and out. Very good, C-skips in place. To our bicycles, low back stays in contact with the ground, alternating left and right leg, and then opposite elbow to the knee. Good. For our forward lunge, we have a few options here. We can go forward with just his body weight, hands on his hips. Good long lunge. Focus on that heel pressure, right? Good, full foot. So Hannah's gonna do double leg first, quick over that line, left to right. Good, and relax. Great control, great coordination, really challenging that as fatigue starts to set in, making sure you're getting over and back across that line. If you enjoyed this video and want a free workout program that improves your basketball conditioning, your basketball speed, and your jumping ability, just simply click on the link below or in the description. That will take you to our page where you enter your email and I will instantly send you your free gift. If you like this video, please hit the like button below to let me know you enjoyed the video. Also comment if there's something else that you'd like us to talk about. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you never miss a video.